It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Virgo. So if you find any new tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonate and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments, uh, Virgo. But also, if you enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, I really would appreciate it, Virgo, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I'm super appreciative of that. We need to take that extra step to do that for me, honey. But also, Virgo, um, remember to use your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the tarot cards that resonate and leave, leave what doesn't. So I'm not maybe offended by whatsoever. I believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought today, for today, Virgo. Perspective for you to consider, but never making the choice in your life, Virgo, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So uh, with all that being said, darling, let's get into your weekly horoscope reading. Uh, starting you out, we have with the angel stepping forward this week, letting us know what, what your theme, overall theme, is going to be this week, Virgo. And it is Gavu... Honey, I don't know how to pronounce this in the angel's name. Uh, we'll just look at like this, darling. The judgment card. Well, it's not the judgment card, but it's the left-hand judgment, representing kind of taking action, right? Taking action even when you are feeling extremely intimidated. Taking action even when you feel as if you wouldn't be able to... Um, you know, if you're going through that imposter syndrome, right? Where you feel like everyone else is more deserving of it than you. Uh, making it a point to hold up this card as well, Virgo, just so you can look at the artwork of it. Just because in this Oracle deck, honey, the artwork plays a very impactful role in terms of receiving the messages themselves. Right? Um, also, I just want to point out real quick, Virgo, that it's over 100 degrees right now, darling. And I have no AC because I live in Washington, honey. So if you see me a little bit extra moisturized, you know why I mean. Uh, so let's delve into this a little bit deeper. What are you guys going to be taking action on this week, Virgo? What is it that kind of has you spooked out, right? Well, I don't want to say spooked out, but it's one of those things where it's like, um, very much, I heard like the example like Joan of Arc, where it's like taking a stand for your own beliefs and even ending up getting punished for it. Ooh, that's like an intense imagery, right? Is that how some of y'all feel, Virgo? We have the Eight of Swords, so there is this sense, similar to Taurus, in the message of where it's like very um, self-limiting thoughts, very much so internal things that are you feel as if are keeping you down. Um, definitely uh, highlighting this sense of insecurity, Virgo. For some reason, I kind of get this in sense or idea that you guys don't really very much so view yourselves that highly or give your give yourselves enough credit virgo i feel like i even chastised y'all about this before as well virgo where i feel like you guys just aren't celebrating yourself enough and um being willing to acknowledge just how good you are judgment card stepping forward with you naturally pairing with this as well i mean come on now this is all about where you kind of have to be even if you feel like a situation is out of your league uh, Virgo, you kind of have to just take action on it. Um, forget whatever it is that are, that is holding you back, right? I use the example with Tauruses of where it's like, even if you think you need to lose like 10 more pounds before you go and try to be a model or try to gain 10 pounds or what have you, right? Try to clear up your acne first or whatever, whatever your storyline is, uh, Virgo, you're always going to find reasons as to why you feel like um, of what you could improve on, right? You're never going to feel ready for the situation until you actually just do it, really. Uh, three of Wands, so you definitely are kind of, um, I feel like this has been the problem for you, uh, Virgo. You've constantly had signs being shown to you that this is like your purpose, this is where it is that you need to be going to next, but for some reason you're resistant to it. For some reason you are choosing to ignore it right as the three of wands in the reverse it's almost just like you don't want to see the obvious signs because if you're willing to admit it to yourself of how good you are then you would have no reason or excuse really to actually commit uh to whatever this is right that you two of cups coming in here so is this about a person uh virgo obviously this doesn't have to just solely represent a person virgo but this does give me an idea of where it's just like something that you care about a lot right it could be like a job could be like um 
obviously a person when it comes to just pursuing somebody right and you really just want them badly but you just have your own insecurity so you choose to stay blind to the obvious of like why you two would be a good pairing whether it's platonic or romantic um yeah regardless of what this two cup represents an opportunity or person i really do feel like at some point uh virgo you kind of have to just have that tough talk with yourself and uh just be willing to acknowledge your greatness right and you kind of just be willing to even if you feel like or even rather because t taking care of your insecurity is like a very long process for some people right um for a lot of people i feel like that it is for most you don't just get over it overnight right um you know that takes a while right so don't make it your goal to feel comfortable or feel completely confident before you take action uh virgo because that's never gonna happen right everyone is scared everyone is nervous a lot more than what they lead on some people are just a lot better at wearing their masks than others remember that virgo so now let's get into um for you virgo a little bit on um, the good things coming to you or well, not the good things we don't want to get into the good things quite yet i want to get some advice some spirit and see what it is that y'all should be looking out for this week let's just get some advice from spirit i like to do this first because then sometimes depending on how um aggressive spirit is um with the cards right we can just end it on a much lighter note right on this portion so let's see here justice card coming in here um very interesting very much so rem uh, reminiscent of the two of cups as well so definitely this sense of keeping your emotions in balance um definitely this sense as well virgo of looking at what you feel like you're worthy of again very similar to tauruses if you have any taurus in your chart or maybe if you are dealing with the taurus um someone in your life is a taurus virgo consider checking out the taurus reading as well uh nine of wands stepping forward to you let's get a couple more cards to enlighten this we have the eight of cups one more the ten of swords so the hard decision for you uh virgo is <sighs> virgo there's like this message of where you guys kind of need to move on now i kind of want to see what it is you're moving on from because both with the nine of wands and the eight of swords or eight of cups both of these cards, the Eight of Cups is the card of going to bigger and better waters. The Nine of Wands is someone that is going on to a journey, take, going up to stepping up to the plate to in the name of like character development, right? Not afraid of taking action. And when it's packed with this Ten of Swords, honey, then this is where it's an interesting message because then it's just like, because that's the card of like closure, right and no want like forgiveness and moving on from a situation so let's get a couple more clarifiers about this situation that you are being kind of asked to like move on from page of cups coming in with the knight of cups very interesting virgo um there's almost this sense here virgo that king of pentacles as well there's almost this sense virgo that you guys are definitely going to have to take a look at your own insecurity in terms of what it is you're able to create, what it is that you're able to welcome in. Um, because I do feel as, as if like there's something that has been like weighing heavy on your heart, Virgo. Something that has been keeping up the major distraction, keeping things out of balance in your life. Um, in this situation here, now... When you have when you have it reflecting with this, this is why it kind of has has me thinking back in terms of the other portion, right? Where you're seeing something from a higher pedestal, right? And so with this dynamic, uh, Virgo, this lets me know someone that with this King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and this Knight of Cups, this lets me know of where truly there's a lot waiting for you. Virgo there's really it's almost this like you have to be willing to fully open the door commit to open the door but what's behind door number one for you actually is going to be like a lot of like greatness a lot of beauty a lot of abundance um in your life but you have to be willing to open that door right but you can only open that door when you fully when you fully complete your old chapter if that makes sense right it feels like for some of you Virgos you want to 
um, start chapter two before finishing chapter one or clinging on to some aspects of chapter one um, as you go into chapter two, right? You gotta kind of have to go all out, like all in or nothing. And yeah, I feel, take that as you will, Virgo. Obviously with some logic here, right? Don't just be like hearing my message as a man reading some tarot cards, honey, and telling you to go all in on a situation and then like you selling your all your prized possessions, honey, just to like pursue some type of passion, right? Like obviously use some discretion. But I do feel like there's this sense, Virgo, if there's something that you want to do, right? Just commit to it. Don't be afraid of committing to it. Um, it almost feels as if, like, for some of you Virgos, you have all these grand ideas that you want to do, but it's almost just like you'll only dabble in it. And it's just, Spirit's kind of telling you, it's just like, no, if you want this, fully immerse yourself in a situation. Don't just dip your toes in it. Don't just go in with the mindset already, feeling as if that you're not ready or whatever your storyline is. Go in with full confidence and claim your spot, uh, Virgo. So now with this, let's get into the good things now, as I was saying before, right? Uh, it's a good thing we waited, right, honey? Let's see what the good things are coming for my Virgos this week. Starting this out, honey, we have the Four of Wands stepping forward to you. All right, so definitely, Virgo, you guys are making some forward ground in terms of living out your purpose. Definitely, this is something that you guys have already started um, paving the way for, I am feeling, as is Four of Wands. Um, you're not definitely, I do feel inclined to say that you're not going to be alone in this journey for much longer. It's something that just kind of steps forward to me because I do feel like this, some of you guys in this Four of Wands, um, this almost just like you're associating like your fulfillment with like not being alone in part of your journey. I don't know, it's a weird message. And then we have the moon card stepping forward here. Why do we have the moon card though? The Knight of Wands in the reverse paired with the Wheel card. So something that you were initially kind of losing hope on, uh, Virgo, something that you're, I'm definitely getting the situation of where you've had some sleepless nights and kind of just like running through your mind, trying to figure out like, what it is that you could improve on or what it is that you're doing wrong in some type of avenue, right, uh, Virgo? It feels as if like you are having this sense of, I don't want to say impatience, but this sense of where you're just questioning, just like, why aren't your crops bear, uh, bearing any fruit or like bearing fruit soon enough? Um, so I do feel like you're about to have like the wheels turning on something that kind of has been stale for a little bit in your life, something that, you know, initially you kind of have just given up on, I'm seeing as the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Um, so Moon Card, Wheel of Fortune, definitely be ready for a surprise around the corner. Um, in some aspect that you thought was kind of like dead and like fizzled out, uh, Virgo. So yeah, now let's get into some uh, of your Oracle cards, honey. And with your Oracle cards, Virgo, we're going to get into your social situations this week. Let's see what's going on in your social. When I say social, romantic, work life, friendships, platonic, you know, all that, all that stuff. So the card that came forward to you guys is the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. So kind of what I was already hinting at throughout your general portion of your reading, Virgo, of where I was kind of telling you where you just kind of need to commit to something, right? That's kind of like your... Um, test this week if we'll say and seeing if you're actually tr you know you say you want to be an author right well then fully immerse yourself in being an author put in all the effort go in go all out right and this is the time this is like ultimately the test of ergo of where it's like you know are you actually committed to this uh thing do you actually really want this are you actually willing to go the full nine yards to get what it is that you've been craving uh Virgo, right and in this case when it comes to this this is more so in terms of a person right i really do feel as if you guys have like the strong uh desire to connect to someone it's strange but i feel like you guys just need to reach out so we have the five of cups coming in here with the queen of cups and then the five of pentacles powerful message here i feel inclined to tell you Taurus, to write down the number five for numerology to look up later to see how that correlates for you guys but in this dynamic um you guys there is some type of connection that you want to connect to 
But it's almost like you're waiting on the sidelines, right? Because you don't feel like you would fit in. You don't want to be laughed at, right? There's almost just like this f sense of um, fear of rejection, uh, Taurus, of where almost as if you feel as if you were to be more vulnerable, then you would just be rejected, you know, going into that cynical nature. And I feel like with this situation here, Taurus, this is letting me know where it's like, if you want this person, if you want this situation, if you want to work with this, you know, whatever your storyline is with this person, um, commit to it, right? Take action, because I don't feel like this is going to come into you, like, I feel like you're the one that has to take action on this. That's why we constantly have that judgment card coming in for you, right? Two of Swords coming in here. Yeah, you guys are definitely just wanting, kind of hoping that it's going to just like come to you. And I feel like you can't really ignore it. You kind of have to really address the elephant in the room, honey, and really just go after it. Um, go after this person, Taurus. You know, don't be so afraid. Don't be afraid of showing vulnerability. Don't be afraid of rejection, darling, right? Being afraid of rejection just you know does nothing but you know you don't experience the feeling of rejection but then you reject so many connections in your life because of your own insecurities right so now of taurus let's get into your financial and career this week oops i've just been calling y'all taurus virgo i apologize <laughs> Forgive me, in this heat, honey, I am not uh, speaking properly, especially when I'm relaying messages, but Virgo, I apologize. Uh, let's get into your uh, financial and career this week, Virgo. <clears throat> let's see here. So you have the cardinal moon, Virgo. Come on now. Be bold and make the first move. What was I just saying this entire time? Uh, Virgo, this is literally a situation where you kind of just have to do it. You kind of have to just be at a point, Virgo, where you're not afraid of just um, the result that's going to come, right? You know, be bold and make the first move. I feel like I could just pull, like, these moon oracle cards could have just told this entire message in such a quick summary, I feel. Let's break this down a little bit deeper. Death card coming in, Virgo, with the Ace of Wands, as well as the Six of Wands in the reverse. So definitely when it comes to the situation, Virgo, I really get this sense of where it's like, you kind of just feel like, it's almost like this fear on like failing. Almost. And like, yeah, Nine of Pentacles coming in here. It feels like you guys need to trust yourself more when it comes to your work life, Virgo. Feels like you guys need to... Um, there's almost just like this sense of unsureness or like anxiety associated with your career. And I really do feel like you need to um, really dead this mindset that really has been keeping you back, holding you back from your Ace of Wands, right? Ace of Wands is also a card of just action. So Virgo, really take this week to look at what it is that's been paralyzing you. What, it, what has it been that's been stopping you, Virgo, from actually truly... Um, going forward in your life because i feel like that's the biggest block blockage going on for you currently virgo is like you limiting and stopping yourself and slowing yourself down but um yeah now before i close out this reading for you virgo let's get a quote card because y'all already know if you're not new to my channel virgo i love me a quote so i want to give y'all a quote virgo to see or yeah give y'all a quote for you guys to just take with you throughout this week so y'all's quote card virgo is the moment i realign with love a clear direction is presented to me so definitely this is a situation of shifting your mindset right i feel like if you are feeling lost at this time virgo or just feeling confused about where it is you're progressing i feel like you just need to start looking at things from a softer point of view and just look stop being like i can't help but feel like i need to tell you guys virgo to stop being so critical on yourself right it feels like the more critical you are the more hazy your future will be or does that make sense like it feels as if like you can instill so much doubt in yourself that you end up creating a bunch of anxiety um in your life virgo <laughs> all right let's break this down finally if, see if there's any final messages with tarot we have here the hermit card the five of swords and then the ten of cups yeah this is a situation of where virgo the further that you kind of like spiral into like a mental, like, I feel like I look at, I'm looking at someone that is, that is very prone to sabotaging themselves, depending on where they are at mentally. And I feel like Virgo, for you guys, you know, have a healthy conversation with yourself this week. 
take a good look at why it is that you feel the things that you feel about yourself, um, why it is that you, you know, I just feel like as if like we need to address some of that cynical nature um, that you might be experiencing right now, Virgo, or where it, I don't want to say cynical because I don't feel like it's necessarily cynical. I feel as if like it's more just, you know, maybe you just care about this situation a lot that it just, you put it on such a high pedestal, but you just, I don't know. You'll know what to do this week, Virgo. But those are the cards that I have for you this week. I hope you found some tarot cards that resonated with you. Um, if you did, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. I appreciate you, Virgo, for being patient with me and receiving this message, even while I'm sweating like a race with Sunny because it's 100 degrees and no AC. Um, but if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, Virgo, my website is just simplyvelka.com. It's down in the description box below with all my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everything is just simply Velka. But yeah, Virgo, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the very near in, in the very near future, honey. And yeah, I love you so much.